Hope you're having a great day. I'm Pastor Fred. This is The Follow Through. We're listening to God. We're living for Him. The thing we're, we're looking at today is Good Friday. So hit that subscribe button. I want you to share this with somebody. Today's a real simple day. Uh, and it's a day that when I was a kid was, was always a very kind of, I guess the word would be somber. Uh, almost a dark day. And uh, right around three o'clock in the afternoon, we were encouraged to just pray and be quiet uh, because that's when, right, the, the death of Jesus occurs. Now, don't get, don't get hung up on the exact time. Don't get hung up on that. But, but today's a day where we kind of look at it and go, hey, this is where Jesus paid the price for my sins. It's pretty simple. And so I want us to not just look at what happened, but what it means for us. Like, like the difference it's made, the change that it has made for us. And so I want you to get, you know, get quiet today. Pray today. Take some time in the, this afternoon or, or this evening, whenever it is. I just remember like, wow, even though I'm a sinner and even though I, I can do nothing to save myself, God came and rescued me. He sent Jesus to die on a cross for me so that I have life. And so today we're going to look at Hebrews 4, 16. Because this is, this is what happens because he died. There's this invitation. All right, the writer of Hebrews says, let us then with confidence draw near to the throne of grace that we might receive mercy and find grace to help in time of need so he, he's saying look you you don't have to look at your eternal life and, and and when you when you die and you go before the throne you go before God but you don't have to have your fingers crossed and hoping you did enough and and and, and hoping God doesn't kind of go into certain areas of your life Look, look, because Jesus died, and it, that covered all your sins, all of your sins. So all of them, he knows every bit of it. He knows the motives, he knows the intentions, he, he, right? Every, every aspect of it, he, he knows. Probably more than we know. But that's why he died. Because he knows that we needed to be rescued. He knows there's so many times where, where we're, just, we're just done and we just don't know what to do. And so now we have mercy. God has given us, instead of uh, punishment, instead of you know, just destroying us like he should because of who we are, man, he does the most unbelievable thing. The most loving thing ever. He doesn't sweep it off under the rug. He doesn't excuse it away. He says, no, no, it's bad. It's worse than you can even imagine your sin and, and your offense to God. But that's why Good Friday's so good. Because knowing all that, He died for you, paid the price for all of those things to set you free and to give you hope, to give you peace, to give you the life that only God could give to you. So that when all is said and done in your life, and in my life. So, so here's what this means. Like when I breathe my last, I can know that God's got me. I can know that I'm acceptable to Him because of Jesus. What an awesome, awesome, awesome thing. I, I, I pray that that brings you peace. I pray that that reassures you. And, and I pray that you have some great conversations with your family, with your friends about just how incredible Jesus is and how, how His love is so just life-changing every day. All right, I'll talk to you next time for another follow-through.